Uh, and now a very important thing is to cover the multi-dimensional uh, multi arrays. And first thing is going to be two-dimensional arrays. I'll just uh, contract all of this and comment it out. Okay, so what if we wanted to create an array of arrays? How do we do that? Well, we do it like this. Uh, why would we ever want to use this uh, ever? Well, for example, you know, let me just give it some name, A equals new int, and I need to specify at least one dimension. So let's create five times five, or even more, you know, uh, uh, the example that I wanted to give was a chessboard, you know, where you have chess pieces in, in an eight times eight grid, you know? So the thing is the, 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 this is integer array and an array of that. So basically each element of A is not an integer, it's another integer array. This is the element of A and it has many of those. And each one of these, well, it has its own elements, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. So let's just try to fill out uh, this array with some values uh, and then check out what's happening. This is basically called a matrix when it's two, when it's a two dimensional array, uh, just like the movie, you know, this one can contain like three, four, five. Uh, and in our chess example, for example, I don't know, each uh, field, each field can co correspond to, to a figure like K for a king, Q for a queen, I don't know, N for a knight, and so on, you know. So basically, uh, when I say uh, A of uh, three, four, I can check out what what uh, what figure was there. You know, I can say there's a there's a king there. Uh, of course, I cannot say that it's a K because this is uh, an int array, but I certainly can put a K like this. And can anybody tell me how I could have put a K like this in between? Why did it make a difference if I put a K in in uh, in double quotes or single quotes? Why is it not complaining? Why is it letting me put a K here? Yeah, it's a char, but but isn't this supposed to be an integer array? Why is it letting me put the char here? Why is it not letting me put a string and it is letting me put the char? If I try to put like a double, it would also be very mad. Yeah, it's actually converting this char implicitly into its ASCII code that we already mentioned, like uh, uppercase A is, I think, 65. So it's basically when I say uppercase K, it's like, oh, you mean number 77 or something like that. So yeah, it's it just, <laughs> this is just, I wanted to show you this uh, real quick. Now, if I literally just print out A of three, four, uh, we will not get a K as the result, that's for sure. We will get some number and it's 75. I almost even guessed it. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that that's just a fun thing that Java does because of course every character can be can be you know in convert converted into an in, into an integer. We can do the similar thing. I think char c equals 54. You know, <laughs> this would make sense, but it actually does. You know, so if I now print out c, let's do 65 because I think 65 is a. It just prints an A which is really funny. Okay, uh, back to the story about uh, multi-dimensional or two-dimensional arrays. So uh, how do we access uh, the elements? Well, the first is the index of the array that we wanna access. Like here, I'm saying basically, I cannot really draw in multiple lines. I mean, I can, let me try. This is how it would look. Let's do a three times three. So it's easier to draw. So that would be zero, 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 zero and zero, zero, zero. And now uh, let's get rid of all this. Now, basically, what, what am I saying? Uh, well, when I say A of two, what does that refer to? That refers to this whole row. When I say A of two, one, well, that refers to the second row. I mean, basically the third row because the first one is zero. Just bear with me, you know, when I say, uh, when I say A of two, that's like the third row. And the, which element? The first element, or the element at position one, which is this one, the second one, right? So this is how you access one particular element. For example, I could have done a of two equals, uh, you know, something like uh, we can. I, I cannot do this because I declared already that there will be three elements, but I can leave the second uh, one empty because now I'm saying 
a is going to be a, an array of three arrays of some length whatever the length is so now i can say a of two is one to three come on new int of one to three new int array okay that's the syntax uh basically what i'm saying here is we have less left the second dimension empty so this array can contain like it doesn't have to be square like this it, it can be something like this you know not all uh not all arrays have to have the same dimension this is called a jagged array because i'm assuming because this is what the word jagged in english means it's like a seesaw or something that you know the thing that cuts you know if it looks like this those are like the saw blades or something jagged is the word anyway uh the thing is here uh we can just assign each array by itself you know we can say a of zero equals new int of uh, we can say new into five we don't even have to declare all the values now we can just say uh, it's a new into five it, it would be of length five you know and uh, let's do a of one equals new int uh, of one basically and this array now it will just have all, all the different uh, it not all the rows will have the same number of elements f and if we now want to print them out we will do a loop within a loop as we've already seen two loops so now we will just take advantage of that uh what is the condition for this loop well it's a dot length that's the length of that's the number of rows basically and we have three rows so i'm just going to get rid of this one uh but now we need an inner loop that inner loop will loop through the through the array itself so it'll loop through each of the arrays uh from starting from zero you know and what is the length here well the length is the length of the that particular array so it's a of i dot length this is really important so let me uh, repeat this a of a length is going to be three in this example because we have just said we're going to have three three of three rows basically three arrays of some numbers you know and each array that's the element of the outer array can have as many numbers as it wants you know we haven't specified if i if i put five here you know uh th then it would just have five elements each array would have five elements but since i didn't this one will have five this one will have one this one will have three you know so uh basically now we need to specify of which array we're looping through so a of i actually returns this whole row or this whole row and so on so we need to say a of i dot length here because j will not always go up to the same length it, it can but it doesn't have to you know so now uh, let's uh, print uh, this out let's do s out and let's do s out without let's just do print without uh ln just so we can see in in one line just so we can see the matrix actually uh what are we printing a of i j why a of i j well i is the first dimension we're looping through the rows so in zero row, go through all the elements j will when i is zero j is gonna go through all the values j is gonna be zero then one then two then three and however many numbers first time is gonna be up to five it's gonna do this okay that's one iteration of the inner loop that's done it printed out all the elements so it's printed out a of zero zero a of zero one a of zero two a of zero three and so on it's looped through all the elements of the zero array right and uh, after it's done it i will become one and then j will again start at zero and go one two three and so on you know so that's what we basically wrote here uh j is the variable that loops through the actual uh, like row and i is the variable that loops through all the rows <coughs> okay and let's just do uh, an empty line after each inner loop just so it's in the new line right okay so as we can see here of course we i didn't add a space i can add a space as well mm. but the thing is it just printed out five zeros here as we declared that a of zero is going to be uh a of zero is going to be just new integer array which basically just fills it up with zeros uh, this one is just going to contain number one so it's here and this one is going to contain number three and we can even uh, for example print here the length you know 
plus R A of I dot length. And let's just say length length of this array is. And if we run this now, we can see that this one is five, this one is one, this one is three. So it basically looped. Uh, J went from zero to four, from zero to zero, basically, and from zero to two in, in these three iterations. Okay, do we have any...